And we are underway in Buffalo. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Purdy now to throw off the play action. They'll roll him out right. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And got his man complete. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. They give him a gain of 38. I've heard of quick strike offenses, but this has taken that to the extreme. I mean, the very first snap of the ball game, normally you're thinking, let's get our quarterback comfortable and get him into the floor of the game, but not here. They come out attacking from the outset, and it pays off in a big way. And he's going to get this inside the 30. The Niners passing game in sync now. They've got another first down. First carry for Christian McCaffrey. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. Here's third and 10. Birdie. Eluding the pressure right. Oh, poor decision there, and it's going to be intercepted. And the Bills are going to take over at their own 13-yard line. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 13. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. First and ten, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Again, it's Cook. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Allen off the play fake. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice or maybe even routes versus air because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. And yeah, that's knocked away and incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. Here's the punter, Martin, out to kick it away. And they will get to this one and down it at the 13-yard line. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Remember last time out, they threw the interception on their first drive. Good news, their defense backed him up, so it's still 0-0 here as they begin their second possession. Yeah, and one great way to judge a defense, how do they handle what we call sudden change when all of a sudden, you know, it goes against their offense and they have to run out in the field and try and put out the fire. Give this one great kudos for getting out there and not letting that interception lead to points. Excellent job by them defensively. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And he almost gets this to the 30, taken down about a yard shy. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. Well, starting drive number two off on the right foot. Completion for the first down. Drive one is the... They had to be pretty frustrating because they moved the football. They just didn't get any points out of it. But warm-up QB, too. Let's bring in the backup. I mean, my goodness, you take them down and you don't score points. You know I'm being totally facetious here, right? I'm just kidding. Nice first drive. Rarely do teams score on every single drive in a game, but they like what they did there. They just hope they can pay it off this time with some points. 
Rasul Douglas there to get him down. Second down and eight. Now Purdy. Rolling to his right. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. Purdy with it on third and long. Escaping the pressure right. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. Well, they've moved the ball okay here in these first two drives, but this one's going to, again, amount to nothing. They've got to start dialing up some plays that allow them to finish drives with points. They'll send the tight end in motion left. They'll bring the tight end in motion right here. Purdy on fourth down. That is caught, and they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. No score after one on EA Sports. Well, that fourth down decision, unconventional but effective, and they indeed come up now with a first and ten, a fresh set of downs. Sliding out of the pocket. This will be caught at Samuel. And he's brought down. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 43. McCaffrey running up the middle. And he'll get what he can up the middle. Three yards. That'll bring up second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run. All right? It was kind of stacked up. Found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Play action, and now here's Purdy to throw it. Flushed out right. Oh, what was he thinking there? It's easily intercepted. Teron Johnson able to pick it. And the Bills will take over here as they get it up to the 43-yard line. Partner, have you ever heard the story of Icarus in mythology? That's the guy who flew too close to the sun and had his wings melted. That was our guy right there. Keeps pressing it and pressing it. Finally, on that throw, he paid the price with that turnover. Here's second and ten. On play action, Allen, he'll buy some time right. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Up the middle, it's Cook. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still... Got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Setting up the screen for Cook. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. So that'll go as a four-yard loss on the play. And third and eight now. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Throwing his Allen on third. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. Here's Allen. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. 
The Bills drive stalls out on fourth down. And the 49ers are going to get the football back. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. It doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively. Obviously, two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week? Not the one that you're throwing it to? Or maybe you have to be stern with him. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Here's second and five now from the 37. Birdie off the play fake. Flush to his right. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. As defensive coordinators around the league tell me all the time, that throw is not for every quarterback because you've really got to drive the ball downfield. It's going to be a tight window for him to fit that one into. In this case, unsuccessfully. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. It goes as a gain of eight and it moves the chains. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Back to throw, Purdy. And he's got McCaffrey open, complete. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And the 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. Purdy now on second down. Eluding the pressure right. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. On third down, it's Purdy. Now he steps away. And that is incomplete. 16 seconds now on the clock. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. Here we go with McCaffrey. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. Remember, that was fourth and a full two yards. There's a big difference between that and fourth and maybe six inches or a yard. Yeah, you're exactly right, because when it's that six inches, you just fall forward and you pick it up, right? You just go quarterback sneak. But having to move bodies, that means you actually have to execute because they know what you're going to do. How are you going to make the right play call and get everyone into the right spot and win at the line of scrimmage? That's what they did there. That sure looked like a nice call by the defense, and they were very cohesive in their coverage. As soon as he cut inside, they broke on the football and met him as the ball got there and forced the incompletion. And he hauls it in in the end zone. Touchdown, San Francisco. Kyle Juszczyk in the final seconds of the first half. And the 49ers have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. Jake Moody now for the point after. And the 49ers grab a 7 to nothing lead. So with three seconds remaining in the half, they will line up to kick this one away. And we'll still have time for one play before the half as this will be fair caught and brought out to the 25. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. 
And you wonder if with Allen's arm, they might just take their chances by dialing up a long one. Escaping the pressure right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked up by Talanoa Hufanga. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Just the one touchdown in that first half. 7-0 our score as we get going in quarter number three. And they'll let that one go as it skips through the back of the end zone for a touchback. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Allen, left side caught by Diggs. And out across midfield down to the 45. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. Now Allen. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. And he's taken down inside the 30. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. To throw, it's Allen. It's caught by Davis. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it's second down. Allen to throw once more. Works right side into the hands of the tight end, Knox. And Knox is going to have a Bills first down as he'll get this down inside the 20. From the pistol, they run it with Cook. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Ball at the 14 for second and five. To the air, Allen. And that is caught. Touchdown, Buffalo. Gabriel Davis, a 14-yard touchdown. And the Bills are an extra point away from evening this one up. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And we are tied at seven. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kick's away here. And he is out of bounds here on the return. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And that shouldn't change the mindset a whole lot from an offensive perspective because they already knew this was going to be a hard-fought game. Now they just need to go out, execute their game plan, and keep moving. Gregory Russo able to bring him down. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and ten. Purdy looking to throw. Gets this one to use check. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. He'll fire this deep for Ayuk. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And the Bills are going to take over once again at their own 37-yard line. You're looking there at a defensive back who's maybe a step slower than he was when he came into the league a decade ago. I know I question his speed coming into the game, but what he's lost in speed, he's more than made up for it with intellect. And that's a great job of knowing how to position himself to make that interception. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and ten. So after the INT, it's Allen. Flushed out right. A throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. 
Right now, the story of this game continuing to be the defenses because the offenses, they're finding it difficult to establish any rhythm whatsoever. I like how you come to us in praise of defense, Brandon, because that's exactly right. That was an incompletion force there, but we've seen it throughout this game. Both of these defense coordinators, they're a step ahead of their offensive counterparts. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after their last one ended up as a touchdown, but incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. Allen. Yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Oh, I thought he had that one, and that was nearly a big third down conversion to give this drive some life. Instead, they're on the spot and help separate the receiver from the ball. Allen going to go on fourth down. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Bills first down as the defense nowhere to be found there. A gain of 20 on fourth down. Now Cook, he's got it off the draw. And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain. Second down. Brandon, one thing about blitzes, they really confuse offensive linemen at times. And what you have to do is lock in on the guy right in front of you. If you don't, you saw the end result. Defensive tackle end up making the play. On second down, here's Allen. He right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Tashawn Gibson. And the 49ers are going to get it back here just past the 35. With Charles in a tie game, you always wonder who's going to be making the big plays. Right now, it's not the offensive players. We're seeing these defenses step up and take control. Both of the last two drives have ended with interceptions. They are certainly dictating this game, aren't they? Now it's going to come down to which offense can follow their defense's lead and step up in the clutch themselves. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Taron Johnson made the stop. You don't see that a ton, do you? Or the cornerback coming over to the middle of the field to make a run tackle. That's someone with a ton of confidence to feel like nothing is pressuring him on his side of the field. Sees that the ball's moved to the middle and just sprints over there to help out. He ends up getting the tackle. Well played. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Open man is Samuel, complete. And he's going to be taken down here, still a couple yards short of the first. Tie game, fourth quarter, and they're going for this thing on fourth down. Purdy will set up to throw it here. They'll roll him out right. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. On the toss, they run wide side with McCaffrey. Pushing through the contact and down to the 36-yard line here. 40 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. I know the toss play begins with the guy taking the snap and turning around and tossing it to the runner. But where the real intrigue is, can they seal the edge? Whether it's an offensive tackle or a tight end in the direction they want to run the football. If they do that, that's the result that you get, that type of a game. If they don't, oftentimes it's not a very successful play. And McCaffrey going to pick up a Niners first down as the tackle is made at the 28-yard line. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. 
from the 24 now. Here's second and six. Try to get to the outside. This is McCaffrey. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Tried to get the edge there. The defense just too quick to the ball. That's what we call total team defense there. Can't get to the edge. No place to move it inside. And then allows everyone else to run to the ball and create a big time tackle for no gain for the offense. Here's Purdy now on third and goal. Flush to his right. Oh, no, he lost the football. Now this is picked up by the Bills. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. I think we just saw an example of a game situation that I know is discussed, practiced to the nth degree, go right out the window and a chance to win the game as well. Yeah, protect the football on the other side. You're taught to get in there and rake it out. They did just that. I mean, they go over this starting in OTAs in mini camps. You go through these situations and that's the way a lot of teams like to end practice. Finish it off with this type of a drive, kick the game-winning field goal. Everyone feels good and heads to the locker room. In this case, though, they're not going to feel so great about it. Allen's throw taken in by Diggs. Now he's free at the 35 and down to the 28-yard line. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and 10 now. To throw is Allen. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. That completion helps out in a nice way. Now they can take a little bit more time, but guess what? They've got to make sure on their throws that they see it open, not just anticipate it. Going right back to Knox and again a completion. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. Allen. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there and now fourth down. And I know they would have loved to have had a touchdown there to give them some cushion. But now kick the field goal. Get the lead. Let your defense bring you home. Show some faith in those guys on the other side of the ball. The kick by Bass is good. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. All right, so time to reset here. It's a huge kick there. Gives them the lead. But they've got to be careful that their celebrations aren't a little too premature. You're exactly right about that because there still is time for the other guys to run a few plays and get into field goal position. So this defense is going to need to come up with one final stop if they're going to get out of here with a victory. Here's first and ten. To throw is Purdy. Eluding the pressure right. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Throwing. Purdy. That ball caught. Brandon Ayuk. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as he'll stop it with 27 seconds showing on the clock. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Purdy to throw. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. And now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. Purdy to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Ah, uh, this defense has been so stingy all game long. No reason to think it's suddenly going to open up now. They took their shot, but this, like many others, falls incomplete. Here's Purdy to throw. He's going to let it fly. It's caught inside the 25. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. 
They absolutely had to take some chances downfield trailing here in the fourth quarter. So why not go four verticals, send the guys downfield, say make a play? And that's one of the favored routes of offensive coordinators. You know why? Because receivers can be open at any point running that route. So a money kick there in the final seconds. And now, barring any hijinks on the kickoff here, partner, I think you and I, we're going to settle in for a little overtime. And I wouldn't have it any other way. This has been a dogfight all through regulation. No reason to think it won't continue in the extra period. Field. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. And we've got free football. Four quarters done, and we're dead even. We'll have overtime after this timeout. So it's the 49ers who will get the football first with a chance to win it here in overtime. And he is out of bounds here on the return. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Nice satisfying run on first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. Second down and right back to McCaffrey. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. Well, they needed two. They could only get one. Fourth down. First throw of overtime for Purdy. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Big strides, look at him go. Inside the 10. Touchdown, 49ers. Well, that's pretty impressive, Charles. It's one thing to be an elite speed wide receiver and have all that yards after the catch into the end zone, but from your tight end? Yeah, you don't get that very often. What you're describing is more like a Tyreek Hill a Devontae Adams and Antonio Brown. You're not talking about a guy that lines up or can line up in line and look like an extra tackle on running plays. He took that bad boy downfield just like he was a scat back. Before the game, he told me, I'm going to have a zinger or two today. And I was like, oh, a zinger or two? I guess that's a zinger, right? That's a zinger. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. First throw of overtime for Allen. He's got this one complete to Sherfield. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Boy, he ran free there after the catch as that winds up going for 38. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Here's Allen to throw it. And bringing it in, it's Davis. Touchdown! 
I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? <laughs> you know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big-time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where did you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> and you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like that you fit that into the broadcast. <laughs> you know, I just grab a nugget when I can. And he is out of bounds here on the return. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Here's a fake on the Jets, sweep and now off play action, it's Purdy. That's caught downfield by Kittle. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Call that a very strong gain of 24. Just a little too lackadaisical, Charles, and they didn't get up and snap the ball in time. Delay of game. Yeah, and I'm not sure if he understood where the clock was located in different stadiums. It's in different places. You have to check that in pregame and make sure you're aware so you don't run into penalties like these. Now they need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game. First and 15. And now a fake on the jet sweep, and instead they'll give it to McCaffrey. Pushing forward for three up to the 48. Well, obviously they would have at least liked to have gotten back to the original line of scrimmage. Instead now, they're dealing with second and long. I thought they would have passed it after the penalty. Probably wish they would have now. Here's Purdy. Got a man right side, it's McCaffrey. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Partner, this is a pretty good drive they're putting together. And I know if I'm on the other sideline, that offense, kind of helpless, isn't it? Because they may not touch the football at all because they go down and score a touchdown. This thing's over. Absolutely. That would write an ending to this script. We'll see what happens. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. Well, able to force him out of the pocket right, but still able to complete it. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. A lot of efficiency here on this drive. Heck, this may be their best drive of the game. Yeah, if they'd moved it like this throughout the entire game, we probably wouldn't be here in overtime. But right now, what you just said was the key word, efficiency. Taking care of the ball, move it downfield, get themselves in a position to score and win this game. It sort of looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. Now a second and ten. handoff from Mitchell running left and he goes diving forward to try to get an extra yard or two and I know you with every carry especially in overtime you're just saying if you're that ball carrier hold on to the football hold on to it protect it but not necessarily settling because you're trying to get to the end zone you're trying to end the game right here and I know the defensive guys poking clawing raking trying to knock the ball free and protect their end zone yeah like you alluded to especially this part of the field that's caught by Debo Samuel Touchdown, San Francisco. So it's a win for the Niners here, and it was thanks in large part to the play of their second-year quarterback. Yeah, he was in complete control of this offense. He had three touchdown passes on the afternoon. And to be honest, he really made it look easy out there. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports.
With that, we say so long from Buffalo.